back in the woods. Star Woods, there's a blue bells and white bells showing. Got a bit of a fairly heavy pack on today. I'm gonna go hammock camping, which takes a little bit more kit. Looks like they've been doing some a lot of felling. Some regeneration going on by the looks of it. And dead stuff maybe. Yeah, hammock camping. Swinging between the trees. Shouldn't have them come down. Uh, got um better than average cook kit today as well. Not the normal stuff I'd use for light like lightweight camping. We're not going very far. It's only a short walk. So a little bit of a weight in the back doesn't matter. Steak and mash in the woods. We've had a lot of rain the last few days, hence it's a bit boggy. It's nice to see the, the woodland thriving. So I'll get into late spring now, so it's all nice and lively. Looking good. We'll keep going. Come back to when we get closer. Arrived on site. <coughs> Put the tarp up in sort of like bushcraft sort of style mode. Low open front. Uh, it keeps raining. It's blue, it's a mixture of blue sky and clouds coming over the minute. But we keep getting a lot of rain. I thought I'd put the tarp up just to get a bit shallow. Just chill out and sit in the woods. Been eating some crisps. Have some drink. I used um, sticks I found in the, the woods to support it on either side and then tied up the middle one using a bit of paracord. I'll set the hammock up later. I always leave that to the last minute. There's plenty of room to chill out underneath. While I'm here I thought I'd do a my preferred way of hanging tarps. Obviously you can use paracord for the whole thing. My preferred method is to actually use adjustable bungees. Just like that, they go around the tree, hook on, hook onto the tarp. Both sides. Decent tension there. You can once you once you get your position right, you can just sort of like lock them off. They'll, 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 uh, you can undo this like a it's like a cleat on a boat. You you undo it and then yank it across and get your tension and your position right. For guys, I don't actually use guys. I actually use a bungee again. So it's a flexible system. If you, you get a bit of flex in the tarps and if the bit easy it doesn't come undone. It's just five millimeter bungee, it's actually tied to the tied to the pegs. Have it on there permanently and just put a loop in the end which you just hook through to set the thing up. At the end once it's all packed away You can just wrap it around like that, put the end over and then you're, that's all set. Nice and simple. 
creates tension without being like solid. That way there's still a bit of flex if there's wind, works well, never had any problem with it. Nice and simple. No guy lines, just bungee. Tonight, obviously, when we set the hammock up, I'll take away these um, temporary poles and do the same as I did on the outside, bring it all down low. That way, if the, when it rains, we're supposed to get some heavy rain tonight. That way, the rain just runs off either sides. This is the D and D, three meter by three meter type. So there's plenty of room underneath. The actual hammock only sort of comes to about there, either side. So there's, there's good, good coverage on both sides. As I, as I said, I'll set that up tonight. Always leave that to the last minute. I've got the large Trangia cooking set tonight. Going to go do some steak and mash. It was supposed to be steak, onions, mushrooms and mash, but unfortunately I made up a little pot of chopped onions and mushrooms and I forgot to pack them. Bloody idiot, but no, no worries, steak and mash is good. Got a few snacks and that as dessert. I'll leave that till tonight, it's only quite early. I wouldn't normally set up a top at this time. It's only four o'clock. Yeah, I wouldn't normally set one up, it's just because it's raining. Occasional showers coming through. Back in the local woods, we've been here many times. The path to it is a lot bigger than it used to be. I think there's other people been coming down here. Powerful road runs away through up to there as well, up there, and along there and up the hill. It might be just being used by walkers, I don't know. There's no evidence, there's no evidence of anyone camping. If they have, they've done the d decent thing and packed it all, all away. Just as it's raining, we've got a little bit of a stream today. That's normally dry. There's been a lot of heavy rain the last few days. Been a bit of a, a crap um, spring to be honest. It's either been too cold or wet. Not much in between. Hopefully it'll get better. We are in the middle of May now, so it should get better. We'll come back later when we start cooking. Just starting dinner. Got the main trangia out. Gonna. Nice bit of steak. And some mash. I did do a little pot of steak and onions, but unfortunately I forgot to bring it. <laughs> Bloody idiot, I left it on the kitchen side of the kitchen. No worries. The steak's got some nice um butter to go with it as well, so give that a go. I like wrist. So about the mash and I'll soak up that lovely butter that's in, in the pan. Shame about the mushrooms and onions, but hey ho, well, I'll get on and eat this and come back to you a little bit later. Does look rather good. Back again. 
Got the hammock set up this time. We'll run it through, show we've got. This is a pop-up type hammock, so you don't have to worry about the, the the lines that sort of hold up the frame. Nature fun. Use this um, many times now. Packs away into this um, in, into its own bag into here. It's just a cheap. Um, this one's branded Luxstone, but the same underquilts branded by many different brands. If I pan back, you'll see how it works. It captures air. Basically, when you compress into the bag, it leaves like a air underneath you, which um, basically state gets warm. It's essential. If, you, if you're hammock camping, they are essential. Unless you're doing them right in the middle of summer, you really do need one of those. Sleep system tonight is a it's a 1,000 weight bag. I brought a slightly heavier bag than what I have been using because it's it's getting cold at night again. Got a trackology pillow, uh, down booties for my feet, and my normal um, polyester sleep suit. And that's it. This zips over. As I said, you don't need you don't need to rig rat lines with this system. I say a lot of hammocks they you have to have um, uh, paracord lines that go to the to the tree to hold this up. But obviously with this system, it's got like a small piece of wire embedded in there that hold, holds it all up. Works well. Keeps the bugs off. You don't have to have, have that on. You can have it off if you wish. It's a good idea though, just in case you don't have bugs in your face there. And that's it. It's held by straps that go around the tree, then lock in. And then along the straps, you have lots of different adjustment points for the hammock. So depending on what distance you are between the trees, it allows you quite a uh, good offset. We're offset more on the other side what we are on this side because because the, the way the, ha uh, the tarps rigged, the reason being because this tree is a lot fatter than that one over there so the, it's, it uses up a bit, a bit more lines to go around it. When you set these up you need to make sure that you have this um, loop hanging because basically what happens if you get a heavy rain during the night you don't really need it on here because it comes off of here doesn't go any further along there on this you get heavy rain the water runs down if you didn't have that the water would if that was like that like that the water would carry on running and straight onto your hammock without being there this this soaks the water up it goes down then basically runs down and drips off the bottom has to be pretty heavy rain for it to happen but it does happen same this side Runs down and it's just going to run down off and then drop off there. Ideally. That's how it works in theory. It does work. You don't, you don't tend to get water running down the carabiners. And that's it. It's about 8 o'clock at night now so it's the light's starting to fade. Be doing some hot chocolate later. I brought a, a little flask of rum, so I have a few drinks. And that's it. Get in bed once the sun goes down. Early start again. Get back home. It's Monday the seventeenth tomorrow. Second stage of um, UK coming out of proper lockdown. So most of the, the remaining pubs and restaurants are going to be opening up, so you can dine indoors. So you can take the missus out for a cooked breakfast tomorrow. I've got some a, a breakfast to eat here as well, but we'll, we'll, we'll do 
we'll do that later have a like a late breakfast stroke lunch and then Tuesday's back to work hopefully the weather will start improving still pretty cool for May but we're getting there see you later Good morning. Got breakfast on the go. Having the panini, bacon roll, coffee. Set really well. Bone dry. It's been raining more or less all night. Didn't get no deer noises last night, which is quite rare for this um, woods. So, a peaceful night. It's lovely. Um, been in the hammock and um, listen to the rain. Very warm. I brought me 1,000 weight bag. I think that's unnecessary. It turned out to be quite a mild night. I think the 500 weight bag would have been enough. There it is. We've got coffee and uh, coffee and we'll get the, the bacon on the go as well. It's been an enjoyable camp. I do love um, getting out in the woods. It's my favourite. Uh, my favourite sort of camping. To try it. You find the local woods, don't forget, um, when you're looking on um, the maps, look for one that's got like a red um, board around it, um, like shaded in red on OS maps, and it shows that it's a free access woods. Still officially not um, allowed to wild camp there, but chances of you getting caught or seen is quite um, remote, as long as you keep off the paths, well away from the paths. Bacon there. And that's that. Fold it up, eat it. Pack up, go home. Simple as that. Don't forget if you're going to try this, leave no trace. The thing with hammock camping, you don't even leave a, a ground footprint. Obviously because you're floating across the ground, there's no... No um, uh, squished grass or nothing. It doesn't matter, uh, normal camping's fine as well, you just cover your tracks afterwards. Leave it as you found it, leave no trace. Important. Especially now, because there's a lot of people getting out there and, and they're leaving a lot of crap behind. The rangers in the national parks are actually starting to kick people off of the off of the national parks now because of it. So be sensible, keep out of the way, get camping. See you later. Don't forget if you um, like the video, click like and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, plenty more coming up this year. This one's just a basic one. Do a few um, more multi-day camps this year, hopefully. I'm going to do the same as what I did with Sudbury, take the train and then uh, walk back. Got one plan for Ipswich, one plan for Mark's Tay, following the river, uh, not Mark's Tay, the next one along, um, Wakes Cone. That's the next one of the ones I've got planned, following the River Cone into Colchester and then the, the tidal River Cone through Wivenhoe down to Alford and back home. Another one um, from Ipswich, going up to Ipswich and walk back from there. That'll probably be a, a two-nighter. Walking back to Ipswich via the Shotley Peninsula. That'll be coming up later on this year. 
maybe go up to the Peak District again one day, uh, one weekend. Who knows? A bit more sailing as well. Another uh, uh, kayak camping as well. Got some of that um, planned for this year, and also dinghy camping. That's going to be something new. Give that a go. Touch wood, the weather is going to start improving. We we'll actually get a proper summer rather than just this mixture of cold and wet. I think next week, the looking at the forecast, the temperature is uh, starting to come up a bit. So. Hopefully things are improving. See you later.